the insurance expert here hello everyone happy new year how was 2022 mm -hmm. how is now 2023 this is the time where parents are all taking the children back to school. I know it's that time where most of the parents are stressed. That time where you read at the requirements list and you wonder, and you're like, is this a school? <laughs> you know, those days, people who are of my age, those days you would have only 50,000 and it is enough for all your requirements. But these days, things changed. So as things changed, we also need to change <laughs> what our parents did and it worked for them. It will not work for us now. The parents these days, the schools we want, mm, the levels eh, that people are in these days, of course, forces us to take the children to certain schools. But of course, it doesn't just come like that. You have the requirements, you have the school fees, for example, the secondary uh, schools. Right now, senior ones, they are preparing exams. The results came through. Parents are excited, some are stressed. Even there are those children, even when they performed very well, they already know that they can never go beyond that level. So as an insurance expert in Uganda here, I have got solutions for most of the parents. Bamufunampola, the low class, medium class, and then high class. I have all the plans. So today, let us talk about senior ones. And that, that was seven years ago when your son or a daughter started primary one. Now, the parents that I met those days, seven years back, and we had a plan for you, I know. You are not very stressed. If at all you're just saying, Lydia, thank you for whatever you did to us. You advised us so well. I know you have no stress with school fees. And I'm happy that your children passed very well. So the schools you wanted, your children will go there because you planned. You can imagine, I want to give a scenario where a parent had a plan of seven years. That, is, that was seven years back. I met with this person and we agreed. Where do you want to take your child? Namagunga. How much are they paying? This and this. Okay, we're like, now for now, you can take your child to Namagunga right now and begin paying the school fees. Me, I am planning that after Namagunga, where would you want to take the child? Of course, you know the classes. Child from Namagunga, he, uh, the child has passed very well, so where do you take the child? So we planned and said, where will your child be going after that? We looked at a certain school, and we looked at the school fees of 1.8. Good thing they are now paying 1.6. Of course, we had planned. So now we planned for a very good secondary school, where we are sure that if our child joins that particular school, a child can even get government. Why not? Or even you're sure, because if you plan for seven years and you got the school fees that is going to start right now at senior one, we know we already planned that that money will be enough from senior one up to senior six. And even cover up some university school fees because I am sure it was around 80 million target that the client had to pay for seven years. So I want to tell you the advantages of savings. Like when you plan ahead, for example, you have a child in P1, you save for seven years and say, me, I want my money when my child is joining senior one. We plan for that particular good school. The client was paying monthly. And the client, in fact, had put a standing order in her bank account. So every month here to deduct money. Some months she would not be having the money, two, three months, but she would still call me, Lydia, and say, I want to pay my arrears. She did because, of course, you don't expect a relationship of seven years to be all that straight. There were those months where maybe some months were bad. We had also COVID where she spent around the six months without paying. And then she came back on board and began paying with, her, with all her areas of six months. Things were good. We moved. But I was happy seeing her getting her money out. And also when the child also got a five, five at P7, 
it was good it was good so you need to plan adi plan if you know you're a mother who is breastfeeding a two months old child you already know that in the next six years this child will be reporting to p1 so what are you supposed to do right now you're only buying pampas you're buying milk you're paying a nanny to take care of the child but again you forget that your child in the next three years he or she will be joining nursery you forget that he or she will be joining p1 at six years and then after that the child will be joining secondary school after seven years so you plan and that is why at happy old in Micho, we plan in bits and say if your child is two months can you save for five years and get your money when the child is joining p1 if your child is in p1 can we just save for only uh, seven years and we get the money when the child is joining senior one well and good if your child is already in senior one we just plan and say can we now begin to plan for university because who knows life someone some people normally tell me that lydia we can afford to pay school fees yes you can afford to pay school fees but are we sure of the life tomorrow you've heard of this mp who recently died in an accident together with the wife those people also had a plan they, they were living in a good life hmm? so if it happens to you or me god forbid are uh, your children somewhere have they finished school that would be okay but if you're that kind of a parent you are 36 years old your child is four years my dear we are always on the move on the roads moving down here sometimes even when you get an accident it's not because you don't have the driving permit or because for you you're driving badly no some other person can come from their side and knock you down you're dead or even you you're disabled you can no longer work so what can happen to that child that you left at home hmm? sometimes you know when i'm at work i always ask myself questions what if today you don't go back home are your children assured of the next meal that very supper because most of us after work we we'll go with the food then we we'll reach begin cooking because we are not sure hmm? So what I'm only advising as an insurance expert to everyone who is watching this video and you're a mother, you're a father, you're a guardian, or you're soon becoming one, my dear, you're a grandmother of someone, you're a grandfather of someone, you're a godfather of someone, please sit down and make their plan. Sit down and guarantee their future. The only way you can guarantee someone's future these days in uganda in africa in the whole world is educate that child educating that child whether in a, a poor school or an average school or a high class school but what is important is a child getting some education because the world is not getting any better even security guards are looking for some people who can speak english you can imagine people work in supermarkets you must have started to welcome customers everyone at work you're not just there just just because you do somebody there in that office my dear that's why they say that extra chivunda ekalam terimba so at the end of the day we all need to educate our children our siblings our brothers and sisters our relatives but how do we do it some of us we need those long-term plans because we don't earn a lot most of us in Uganda here, our incomes are all average. There, there, we do not have a lot. Yet we have also dreams to pay our children in good schools. So what I can only advise to that person watching me right now, following me on my social media platforms, we just need to be saving something little. To some people normally say that, Saint Mugeni. Saint Mugeni, if, if, if you have the money now and you're not saving anything for your child in future, what if tomorrow you don't have the job? Live alone even death. Some people tell me, but when are we going to die? When can we get an accident? Okay, what if that job you own, they wake up in the morning and they tell you that you have terminated your contract? Sir, madam, 
will you go back home and tell the teacher that or the headmaster that now bring me, give me my children because I can no longer afford the school fees. These days, the children, they will sit before you and ask, but mom, but dad, I need to remain in school. So what will you do? What will, what, what will happen? Let us save something. 10% of your monthly income, 20% of your monthly income, or even 30% of your monthly income may not be bad let us all save something that we know we shall access very soon we shall access in the near future and everything shall be fine thank you